All right, Shalom. First, like to start by saying, all praise to Yahweh by Shem El Shai, by Shem Kakadash, that by honors to the elders and apostles that rule well, and salutations to the brothers that's doing the truth and sincerity. And this is a um, video on what's going on in Hong Kong. You know, the riots, and uh, as you can see the title, it says Hong Kong rioters set man on fire. You know, so they, they um, bringing out uh, how bad it's getting over there, you know. And uh, it's, this is going on all over the world right now, uh, except America. So, you know, it's coming to America, though, or mainly all over the world. It's going to happen it's mainly all over the world, but it's coming to the, uh, the USA. You know, everybody up in America comfortable and don't think anything's going to happen to them, you know, or happen to this place. You know, but these are examples. So I'll just uh, play a video and bring in some scriptures. After a verbal dispute with protesters, a warning. Shocking footage has emerged of a man being set on fire in Hong Kong after a verbal dispute with protesters. A warning, you may find the following images upsetting. These are not live pictures from Hong Kong. Right, so, you know, that's the judgment, you know, and that's what's coming to uh, the USA, you know, on a um, a uh, scale worse than the rest of the nations, you know. <clears throat> this is Ecclesiastes chapter 39, verse 28. It says, there be spirits that are created for vengeance which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. All right, so the Lord had the angels sanction this man being put on fire, and there was a spirit that was on him. And then after that, uh, uh, if I'm not mistaken, a protester, yeah, a protester got shot by a police officer, you know. But it says, um, <clears throat> I'm going to read again. It's Ecclesiastes chapter 39, verse 28 says, There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. Fire and hell, see? That's fire and hell, famine and death. All of these were created for vengeance. Teeth of wild beasts and scorpions, serpents and the sword. You know, and that sword can be coming in the form of a gun. Punishing the wicked to destruction. They shall rejoice in his commandment, and they shall be ready upon earth when need is. See, these spirits are just waiting, waiting to be uh, sanctioned to uh, put somebody to death. And when their time is come, they shall not transgress his word. Right. So they're going to do everything the Lord say, man. They're going to they gonna, like um, I forgot how, how the saying is. But when the Lord want to kill you, you're going to be killed, man. You can't nobody escape their death, you know. And uh I uh, went to the movies and seen this, uh, the movie, so I, could, I seen the movie called Countdown. And, um, yeah, they uh, eventually played an app, which, um, without breaking the whole movie down, they, they uh, uh, logged onto an app that told them when they were going to die. And uh, they eventually ended up dying when the app said that they were going to die. You know, and they couldn't stop it. But, you know, when you watch the movie, they died a little bit before the time went to zero. But still, uh, nonetheless, when it was time for them to die, they died. Except uh, at the end, um, I didn't get to finish watching uh, the end movie part. But um, uh, it, I guess it was a curse on the people, you know, and then they eventually broke the curse and whatnot. But, you know, that movie, it was it was it was all right to me. It was all right to me. I I ain't been to the movies in a while, so I I felt kind of <laughs> good going to see a movie, you know. And it was it was good, you know. It was it was straight, you know. Uh, you saw like to put um um what's going on in your reality in movies, you know. So you just uh, identify it and keep it moving, you know. But um yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh finish playing this clip. 
Now, the man was taken to hospital in a critical condition. Earlier in the day, an anti-government protester was mm. shot from close range by a police officer. Police later said the man had tried to grab the officer's weapon and that he didn't intend to hurt him. Violent clashes between protesters and police have left more than 60 people injured. Large-scale anti-government protests in Hong Kong started in June and have turned increasingly volatile since then. Because it's prophecy. We're not joining. That, that's prophecy. This second Ezra chapter 9, verse 1, it says, He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently, diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs past which I have told thee before, then thou shalt understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made, and the Lord has been doing that. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shalt thou well understand that the most high spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. Right, so this is a prophecy, these uproars of the people. <laughs> this is Second Ezra, chapter uh, 15, verse 16. It says, uh, I'm going to start at 14. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein, meaning destruction. For the swore and their destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall stand up to fight against another, and swore in their hands. That's uh, the race wars. For there shall be sedition among men uh, and invading one another, and that's the people uprising against their uh, governments. That's what sedition means. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and their kings and their princes are their leaders of today, like their presidents. Is the kings, you know, the princes, be like the uh, government officials, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power, right? And they gonna take power into their own hands and be able to kill, you know, um, uh, still being sanctioned by the Lord, but be able to kill people though, you know. <clears throat> but um, yeah, yeah, that's what's going on by Hong Kong-based political scientist Joseph Cheng. So today we now have two people left in critical condition. However, we only ever see demands for investigations into police brutality. With all that going on, they only got two people injured. That's uh, very hard to believe. And um, you know how the news media is. They, they're not going to tell you everything in detail because they don't want to frighten people much more than, you know, what needs to be uh, put out there. You know, but... That's why you got the prophets here. You have right to say we have the elect. Why do you think that is? It is generally believed that the Chinese authorities have decided to adopt a hard line, and this has been reaffirmed uh, in the recent fourth plenum of the Central Committee of the Party. The top leader, Xi Jinping, received Carrie Lam in Shanghai, and he firmly praised his work, uh, her work, and uh, this was very much interpreted as supporting her position of making no concessions, no more concessions to the protesters, and with an emphasis on crackdown. Um, this is certainly unfortunate because without a process of reconciliation, you really cannot resolve a political crisis. Hong Kong protesters label themselves as pro-democracy protesters, and yet we have this incident today that's not exactly democratic at all. Why do you think the protest has evolved to this scale of violence? Well, after every clash between the police and the protesters since June, there has been further exacerbations of the contradiction and, uh, and a rising level of violence. This is unfortunate. But this certainly shows that unless you start a process of reconciliation, you uh, agree to the demand of setting up an independent commission of inquiry, 
Otherwise, the uh, the hatred between the protesters and the police will only be worsened. Uh, the protesters today no longer expect any concessions from the uh, authorities, and this and their their violent clashes with the police only serve to demonstrate their anger and their dissatisfaction. And and as a result of this, people in Hong Kong do not see the light at the end of the tunnel. So far today, the majority of the media has been covering the story with the protester being shot by police more than the story of this man who's been set on fire. Why do you think that is? Well, the sympathy is still very much on the side of the protesters. Uh, recent public opinion surveys indicate that 58 52 percent of the people in Hong yeah a lot of times they like to uh keep a lot of the um the like uh I don't want to say crazy but the, the stuff that's very like you know um crazy out of the news media they'll put something in the news media as far as somebody getting shot or hit by a car you know stuff of that nature you know they even they even uh, go as far as to put stuff like people uh bridges falling on people and stuff like that now you know but i know a lot of a lot of news media um keep out people being eaten and uh you know stuff like that that the, the real stuff that people just don't normally hear you know and then picture that somebody getting set on fire now people thinking how many other people got set on fire you know but I saw the judgment how about she was shy. It ain't nothing that they can do to fix what's going on in Hong Kong because we're at the end of these uh, these worlds. Yahweh Shai is on his way back to take back uh, the world, man. You know? Um, <clears throat> Hong Kong believe that the major responsibility of the violence of the, of the crisis uh, lie with the government. 15% believe that they lie with the uh, police force, and only 9.3% believe that they lie with the uh, uh, protesters. So the protesters still enjoy the support of the community, which believes that the administration is arrogant and it is wrong that it still refuses to make any concessions, not even agreeing to the setting up of an independent commission of inquiry, which is supported by 80-something percent of the people in Hong Kong. If it's so unlikely that the government will bend to the protesters' demands, how can this conflict be resolved? Well, the setting up of an independent commission of inquiry certainly will be the appropriate uh, starting point, there must be a dialogue with the pro-democracy legislators and a dialogue with the student union leaders of various tertiary institutions. Uh, ideally, uh, there should be the stepping down of certain uh, ministers, including the Secretary for Justice, the Secretary for Security, and even the Chief Executive herself, Carrie Lam. But, uh, we all understand that such concessions are most unlikely. Yeah, even if um, the Chinese uh, president wanted to, um, you know, give concessions to the people, he couldn't because of the times we're living in. One, two, the scriptures, they, 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 um, they um, took on American way of life. The, Mer the American way of life, the democracy was a curse unto them, which got them going into recessions, cutting back uh, austerity measures, uh, so on and so forth. You know, <clears throat> so that's one reason why these nations hate the USA and uh, and um, canceling partnerships with them. So I'm going to grab this uh, last scripture. This is Revelation chapter 18, verse 2. It says, And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen. It's fallen, which is America. America is uh, soon going to be destroyed. And it's become the habitation of devils, and the hold of every foul spirit, and the cage of every unclean and hateful bird. And the animals that's going to inhabit America is uh, in Isaiah chapter 34, verse 8. That's what, what it's talking about as far as uh, devils go. 
It says, For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication, which is her, her philosophies. The nations has took on the philosophies of uh, America. You know, the uh, women start to rule over the men. Um, they start to be sluts, homosexuality, lesbianism, witchcraft, so on and so forth. The money the money system has really got these nations uh, uh, snapping out at the U.S. Because the money isn't worth anything and it's... Um, devaluing everybody's currency you know now people got to pay more they can't uh, uh get more off uh, for the dollar you know and um now they're doing away with the, with the uh money you know but it says um early chapter 18 verse 3 it says for all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her and the merchants of the earth are wax rich through the abundance of her delicacies, right? So the nations became rich, man. You know, <clears throat> let me see. Hold on one second. <clears throat> 